the quality of the graphic is surprisingly very good. So Google Play is officially here for Windows. More precisely, Google Play Games beta. This means that now you can download and play Android games directly from your laptop or PC. Sounds good, right? Yes and no. Because while testing the product from Google, I discovered some problems. For someone, they may seem not significant. So I recommend watching this video to the end. Today I will show you how to install Google Play Games beta, then I will install it on a newer and older laptop, and finally I will try to connect a gamepad to play some popular games. So let's get it started. So guys, let's get into it. We are in Windows 10. First of all, we need to open our browser. In my case, I will open Google Chrome browser. Then you need to type next. Google Play Games for PC. Beta. Press Enter. Good. Now you may see Google Play Games. Play Android games on PC. You need to click on it, link will be in the video description. So let's talk more about this website. Take mobile gaming to your PC. If we scroll down a little bit, here you may see explore and play mobile game on PC with Google Play Games beta. So let's check the minimum requirements. We need to have at least Windows 10. If you have a licensed Windows 10, I think it will be more than enough. Quite interesting, you need to have an SSD drive with 10 gigabytes of available space. So if you have an HDD drive, it doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Let's talk about the graphics. As you can see, the minimum requirement is Intel Ultra HD graphics, 630 GPU. If you take a close look at the processor specification, we need to have four cores and please pay attention physical four cores then we see eight gigabyte of ram okay that's normal in a few words we need to have windows 10 ssd drive newer graphic processor that has four cores and eight gigabytes of ram but also if we click here we can check the recommended requirements in this case, it needs 8 logical cores, so I think 8 threads will be more than enough if you have 4 cores and 8 threads. If we're talking about recommended requirements, I see the difference only in graphic and threads. So you need to have more threads and you need to have a better GPU. Also, I will show you the specs of this laptop, Intel Core i5 processor of 8th generation. Yep, it has 4 cores and 8 threads, and if you take a close look at the display adapter, you may see NVIDIA GeForce MX130. Actually, that's not enough for recommended requirements, but it will be suitable for minimum requirements. Also, I want to note that I have 16GB of RAM. On the same page, I found country which support this application without any problem. Surprisingly for me, Ukraine is here. And that's a good news. Okay, let's get back to the main page. Let's scroll a little bit. Android mobile game now available on PC. Here we can see games that we already can play. It's look quite interesting. As far as I understand, it already has more than 100 games and it also get updates. So soon we will see more and more games. Use your mouse and keyboard to gain agility and boost your performance. They try to tell us that it has nice compatibility with mouse and keyboard. But today I will also try to connect my gamepad, GameCRT4 Pro. Sync your progress and game library across device with a single sign in your Google account. Start playing on your phone, switch to your PC, then pick up on your phone again. So that's mean we can play on phone if we are in Google account, then we can go back and play the same game game on PC. It's a big improvement for Google. Also, I found information that Google Play Games it's not available for Mac OS. And finally, let's get into it. I will download the beta version. Click here, download beta. So let's try to install this application. Click on it. In my case, I need to wait only two minutes. I think it will depend on your internet connection. After installation, it will allow us to sign in Google account. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Everything is very simple. You just need to sign into your Google account. After you sign into your Google account, you need to click here and accept with all the terms. Finish.
If we click on the Home tab, we can see some popular games which we can install on our PC. Asphalt 9, so to install this game we just need to click on it. Then we need to click on Install. Also, I want to mention one very important thing. You need to enable virtualization to run all the games. You need to go into the BIOS and check if this option is enabled. In short, I will show you how to enable virtualization in the BIOS. So you need to understand that every BIOS may be different, but you can find this option in most BIOS. I cannot say that it's available in every single BIOS, but in most BIOS, you can find this option. First of all, you need to turn on your laptop and enter the BIOS. So you can press F1, F2, delete key. It all depends on your model. I recommend to check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS. Turn on the laptop, then press key to enter the BIOS. In my situation, I need to go to the virtualization support, click on it, and here I can find virtualization. As you can see, this option is enabled. If you see uncheck, you need to check this option and click apply. That's all. Also, sometimes it will show some message that you need to restart the computer and it must change some options. That's okay. You need to click OK, the laptop will restart and then you will be able to download and install games. Probably I don't see this message because previously I installed Google Play games uninstall and then one more time install it and that's why I don't have this message right now. I have a great news, Asphalt 9 Legend successfully installed on my laptop so now I can try to run it. I will click on play. I turn off the audio because I don't want to have any issue or problem with copyright claim or copyright strike. I hope you understand. We are in the menu. If you take a close look, you may see that we have default graphic settings, but I will try to change it to the ultra. Okay, we need to restart the game. I will click yes. One more time, I will go to the settings. I will select keyboard manual because I want to press keys, it's much interesting. After that, I will try to connect the gamepad. The quality of the graphic is surprisingly very good. Also, I want to mention that I have full HD screen resolution. From my own experience, I can say that it worked not smoothly on ultra graphic settings, so I think I need to change the setting to the minimum. And yep, this time it works more smoothly. Also, I want to mention I'm using screen recording program. Without screen recording program, it works much better. So keyboard work without any problem. After this race, I will try to repeat the same process, but connect gamepad. This is gamepad game CRT4 Pro, my favorite gamepad. First of all, I will connect this USB pen. Okay. So actually I connect it to my laptop, but I cannot use it. Maybe I need to restart the game. So I restart the game and now we will see if Google Play Games beta has nice compatibility with gamepad. Actually, it seems it doesn't see our gamepad. And that's quite strange. I will give it a last try. Maybe we can tweak some option in the settings. Game settings, controls, and in my opinion, that's quite awful. For the example, there is a bunch of Android OS and emulator which give you possibility to connect your gamepad. That looks strange because this is Google official utility or emulator. You can call it as you wish, but we don't have possibility to connect gamepad. Especially for this video, as the experiment, I installed the same Google Play games beta and even Asphalt 9. I want to mention this laptop has Intel Core i3 processor of third generation, Intel HD graphic 4000 GPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM and SSD drive. But what will happen if you try to launch such a game on such a potato? Let's try to figure out. I will try to launch this game and the moment we all are waiting for. Actually, that's all that we can get by using this emulator on this laptop. You will get only strange and incorrectly behavior. Mm. 
My conclusions, if you have a newer laptop or PC, then you can download this application. Of course, if you don't mind that you will not be able to play Android games with the gamepad, because honestly, it can be a deal breaker. And if you have an old laptop or PC, I strongly do not recommend downloading this application because it consumes a lot of resources. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching video about Bluestacks emulator. Honestly, it's cool Android emulator.